Hey everyone, welcome back to my another After Effects tutorial. Today, we are going to create this. Before getting started, I like to thank Squarespace for supporting this video. Whether you need domain website or online blog, make your first move with Squarespace. Get 10% off with your first order. Visit the link in the description. So let's get started. Open After Effects and create a new composition. Let's call it Particles Logo Animation. As always, I am using the 1920 by 1080 resolution. At 30 frames per second. You are free to choose your own settings. Now, create a new solid for our background. You can make it in any color you want, because we are going to apply a gradient to it. Now go to the effects and the presets, and search for the ramp. Apply it onto the same background layer, and let's adjust the colors of it. I am using the colors according to my logo, choose the color on which your logo should visible properly. For this, I am using the blue and black color combination. Now, grab this anchor point, and place it something like here. And then place this point here. Now your gradient will look like this. Let's import our logo, to see if it is looking ok with this background. And then place it above the background layer. As you can see, my logo is blending with the background color. So let's change the color of this gradient. Here change the start color to a different color, so that the logo will visible easily. Perfect. This looks good to me. Now add another solid. Let's call it background shades. And then hit OK. Again go to the effects and the presets. And this time search for the fractal noise. You will find it under, noise and grain. Apply it onto the background shades layer, and let's adjust the settings. First, change contrast to 50. And change brightness to 30. Also, change the complexity to 1. And then open this transform option, and make sure to uncheck this uniform scaling. Now, change the scale width to 1000, and also change the scale height to 500. Here you will find some nice looking shades. Now we are going to change the blending mode of this layer. If you don't find your mode tab here, press F4 to switch between. If your F4 key, has gone on the vacations, with Sophia the robot, then right click here, go to columns, and select modes. Now change the blending mode to multiply, and here you will see this nice looking background. Cool, this looks good to me, now select your logo, and pre-compose it. Let's call it Logo Comp. And make sure to select this Move All Attributes into the New Composition option, and then hit OK. Now again go to the Effects and the Presets, and search for the CC Ball action. Apply it onto the Logo layer, and let's animate it. Go to around 3 seconds. And add a keyframe onto the Scatter. Also, Add a keyframe onto the rotation as well. And the last, add a keyframe onto the ball size. Now go to the first frame. And here change the rotation axis to Z axis. Now, change the scatter amount to 500. And also, change the first rotation value to negative 2. I am also changing the ball size to 300. Now press U, to open keyframes, 
and here in the ball size keyframe, take the last keyframe, and place it on the one second. Now select all keyframes, right click on it, go to keyframe assistant, and easy ease them. Open graph editor. Select the end keyframes, and change the curve to something like this. Also, change the curve of this ball size keyframes as well. In case your graph doesn't look like this, right click on it, and select edit speed graph. Switch back to the timeline, and this is our animation looks till now. Cool, let's make it perfect. Go to the effects and the presets, and search for the glow effect. Apply it onto the same layer, and then search again for the curve effect. Apply it onto the layer, and change the curve, to add some brightness to your logo. Again go to the effects, and this time search for the CC force motion blur effect. This effect will add motion blur to the particles, so, let's apply it to the logo layer. And here you will see nice looking motion blur, here is the difference without the motion blur. Let's change the shutter angle to 250, and it will create longer motion trails. Perfect. This looks good to me. Let's minimize all the layers, to get us some rooms. Now go to the 3 seconds, and select your logo layer. Now press Ctrl plus D, to make a duplicate. Let's call it Logo Reveal. And then remove all the effects applied to this layer. Select the effects, and delete them. Now go to the time where you want your logo to appear. Select the top layer, and press Ctrl plus Shift D to split the layer. Select this bottom part, and delete it. Now select this logo layer, and split it as well. Select this part, and delete it. Play your animation, and now your logo animation should look like this. Perfect. It's time to add the light flare to it. Import this flare into the project. You can download this clip from the link in the description. Place this clip on top of all layers, and then change its mode to screen. Perfect. Here we have to adjust the placement of this flare, according to the logo appears. Make sure the timing matches, else it will look different. Perfect. This looks good to me. Now go to around 5 seconds, and then press N to set the end marker for this animation length. Ram preview this, and this is our animation looks now. Perfect. Here is the last step. I am going to add camera blur to the beginning, so that it will create some depth into the scene. Select this logo comp. And then go to the effects and the presets. Here search for the camera lens blur. Apply it onto the same logo layer and then go to the first second. Here, change the blur radius to zero, and then add a keyframe on it. Go to the first frame, and change the blur radius to 25. Ram preview this, and here our animation is complete, I'll see you next week. Thanks for watching this tutorial, have a good day. You have done all of these work, why don't you show this to the world? Go to the squarespace.com, and make your own website, it is easier than it sounds. Visit the link in the description, to get 10% discount on your first order.